video. Check out Sergio's F-150 Lightning. Sergio. What up, what up? Tell everybody your configuration right here. So this right here is the 2022 Ford Lightning F-150. It has a 131 kilowatt battery. It's the Lariat edition, so it comes with the 20 inch wheels, painted front bumpers, um, upgraded audio system. Um, got the, the power on the front right now. We got it going on, so it has that 9.2 um, kilowatt system. The backup battery, it can actually batter, power your house for three to 10 days on this uh, Lightning. It has a sunroof. Um, I got the, the you got option the for that. full package, right? Full package. Bro, so you, you actually powering the TV right now? I'm powering the TV right now off of the off of the F-150. They, they thought we were going to need some power cords. We don't need power cords. We got the F-150. Right. Not only that, but we're also going to be powering the music with it, too. It's crazy. So we run all the power for what we need out here right now off this truck. That front could fit me. Oh, yeah. We're going to put you in there a little bit later just to <laughs> do a test. <laughs> all right. Let's check this out. Look at this. Got the TV plugged in. That a lot of space in this front. No cyber. That is kind of facts right now. No cyber. I, I, I love that plate though. Oh. <laughs> a lot of people in Tesla don't like it. That's all cap right but, there. I, but I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the space. I mean, this cabin space is ridiculous. Oh yeah. And you know what's funny is like as tall as you are, jump in the back, jump in the back. See, you can see like, jump in the back. See, see how yeah. much like room you got back there. Go ahead. Exactly. I know this seat's kind of far back right now. Look how much space I got. I mean, I'm six foot four. Look at this. Plenty of room. This this trunk's a monster. A lot of space. I mean, look at this. Look at my arms. Bro, yeah. You know, I I love the Rivian at first, but after seeing this, Rivian looks too it's too small, man. Yeah. I was gonna get the rim, but sitting in this. And then check this out. So this is, you know, this is not Ford, but that's something you added. Yeah, I wow. added that. So, so it was like custom. Yeah, um, it's by uh, I forgot the name of that company. It's right there on that sticker. Oh, that's nice. But um, you check this out. Oh shit, I can't do it too quick. It don't matter. But um, you close that up. You could lock it, and then that way nobody can get in there and do anything to it. It's nice. And it's aluminum, so you ain't, you know. And you can move it, stop it, you know, wherever you want to. Stop it. And then you got your all your power ports right here too. So you got a 30 amp and you got a couple um show you that. So you got the 30, yeah. so and a couple of 110s. Or you got four 110s. Is this where you could charge a Tesla? Yeah. Click right there. We're gonna do that in a little bit with Justin's Okay. Alright. Alright, Sergio. He's gonna charge Justin's model three with the Ford. Green. What? Wow. Look at this. So let's see what on the screen what we're talking about. Let's, let's go get a close up of this charging screen. Let's see what's charging. Let's see what's pulling. He's got about, he's pulling seven kilowatts right now. That's a typical charge point. 30 minutes. 30 amps, it's pretty cool. It's pulling like seven kilowatts, it's pretty well. That's what charge point, charge point does six kilowatts. Charging at home with the charge point yeah. or, or going to like the little grocery store, like any of those little free ones. That's crazy. Let's look at the setup, look at that. This guy's Ford cable. That's sick, sick. Hey, Let me ask the million dollar question. This All is right. a question I wanna All know right. before I hop on Ford. All right. How's the customer service? Customer service A1 so far, man. I, I can't even complain about it. I, like, what I do you do if you have an issue? So, funny thing is, so my Mackie had an issue a couple months ago. I was driving up to New York. I stopped in Walterboro, South Carolina, and um, I finished charging, and all these dash lights came on, started tripping on me. The dealership in Walterboro, South Carolina was one mile away. I was able to drive it there. They were able to plug it in, figure out what they needed to reprogram. I was back on the road in 30 minutes. Mm. Here's another Ford. Beautiful lightning truck. 